Okay, we're going to try to figure out the GCF and LCM of three totally different numbers. Okay, so let's say we have three numbers like 10, 25, and 35. And you want to find the LCM, the least common multiple of all three. So what we're going to do is factor, uh, sorry, do a prime factorization of each. So if I do that, I know 10 is 2 times 5. I know five, uh, 25 is 5 times 5, which is 5 squared, and 35 is 7 times 5. So let's look at all these sets of numbers. So I see a 2 is here, um, right here. I see only one 2, so we need to use that 2 times. I see a 5 here, a 5 here, and 35, and two 5s here. So we got to take the biggest one, and the biggest one is 5 squared, so the two 5s times well we're done with here we're done with here but I see a 7 and we need to use a 7 so we have 2 times 5 squared times 7 so 2 times 5 squared times 7 is the least common multiple of those numbers so if I do this is 2 times 25 times 7 so 2 times 25 is 50, 50 times 7 is 350. So the least common multiple of 10, 25, and 35 would be 350. Okay, so let's do a different one. Let's do the GCF now of three numbers. So the GCF, which is the greatest common factor of, let's do 12, 28, and 36. Okay, remember, um, if you remember from our other video, we need to do a division bar. So we look at these three numbers and we say, okay, what number can go in both? Well, I know four can, but let's just do two. So we're gonna do two. So 12 divided by two is six. 28 divided by two is 14. 36 divided by two is 18. Now I look at each of these and I say, okay, I can take a two out. So six divided by two is three. 14 divided by two is seven. 18 divided by two is nine. And I look at these three and I say to myself, can anything else go into three, seven, or nine? Nope. So it's 2 and 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, so the answer would be 4. So the greatest common factor of 12, 28, and 36 is 4.